Primrose Brush, Professor Primrose Brush, the Vice Chancellor of the Zimbabwe Open University. As your Vice Chancellor, I found it very, very proper that I take a bit of time to welcome you in a very special way to this university that you have decided to join. The Zimbabwe Open University looks at you as our most important and most critical stakeholder. You, our student, our learner, our client. We're very happy to have you as part of this whole family. You've heard about the Zimbabwe Open University, I'm sure, from a lot of different circles. You've heard about us from other former students, that's our alumni. You've heard about us from the press. You've heard about us from all over. And also even about us when we, the press publishes the awards that we're winning as your institution. You have made the best choice of your life when it comes to education and your life. The Zimbabwe Open University is a university that is the only university mandated by the government of Zimbabwe to focus on open and distance learning. It is the only university that specializes in open and distance learning in all its aspects. The Zimbabwe Open University specializes in open and distance learning because open and distance learning is critical for our development as a nation. We want to make sure that everybody in the nation who desires to learn but cannot move into a conventional day-to-day full-time uh, university environment still manages to learn through open and distance learning. We therefore as a university that was set up in 1999 by an act of parliament in March 1999 are very much aware of the needs that you have as our learners and as our clients. As a university, having been set up that far back, we have therefore our first part of graduates 2003. And since 2003, my dear learner, we have graduated over 27,000 people in Zimbabwe. So you've actually made the right choice. This is a university that teaches you how to learn and how to learn to be a lifelong learner. Being a lifelong learner is very critical if you are going to succeed in life and if you are going to develop. Because unless you know how to learn on your own in a disciplined manner, under your own natural environment, in your own space, at your own pace, you can never be a lifelong learner. Now, this Bubble Open University, through the Open and Distance Learning World, teaches you how to do this. Open and Distance Learning is very important because we all realize that not everybody has the time to go to the desk, the time to be sitting with somebody in front of you and going by their schedule and learning the things they want you to learn the pace that they want you to learn. So through open and distance learning, you get your learning materials, you do your own work, you have assignments that you must write, you have a timeline by when you must submit them, the assignments are marked, after they are marked they are returned to you, on return you see the comments on the assignments and using those comments you learn and you develop yourself better. Besides that, those learning materials actually have been written by a whole group of experts in a particular subject area. And these are lecturers not only from the Zimbabwe Open University, but from all the universities in the country. So we pick the cream de la creme from all the universities in the country as well as outside the country to develop the learning materials. These are the learning materials that you use in the form of your module. Now that module is very important information which guides you right through the whole course that you're taking. But beyond the module, we also have other learning materials in the library. We have a very, very thorough and thoroughly put together library information service system. This library information service system is located in every regional center. We have a library information service center. Now that library information uh, service center at national level, we have over 400,000 electronic books. In our library information service, we have 400,000 electronic books that you can access through this Zimbabwe Open University online facility. And that online facility takes me now to the area of the place of information, communication and technology in your studies. Information, communication, technology, ICT is very important when you're learning, especially when you're learning at a distance. You cannot afford to have technophobia when you are doing open and distance learning. At the Zimbabwe Open University, we take you through courses in computer appreciation, 
just learn them not only to pass but to know how to use your computers and how to appreciate your computers and having learned that computer appreciation it's information and knowledge that you're going to be using to be able to access your information through our platform that we call my Vista. now this is an e-learning platform in this bubble of the university which we developed so that it serves as your portal through which you can communicate with your tutors you can communicate with other students you can communicate with the registry office with finance office with the whole institution through my Vista. and you also can even access your results the exam results through my Vista. so your my Vista is actually your very powerful friend that you use within the institution the library is linked to my Vista. Our registration is linked to my Vista. Our finances will soon be linked to my Vista. So you need to know how to acknowledge and appreciate that computer side of things. And yes, your computer is there. Your learning materials are there for you to use. But you also have to learn to interact with the other students. Because as you interact with your fellow students, you actually get to realize that, wow, you know quite a lot of things that others don't know. And they know a lot that you don't know either. So that interaction will actually build you into a better body of knowledge uh, consumers and knowledge developers and knowledge uh, people that actually deliver and de de share knowledge amongst themselves how then does the university come in to assist that group of students to make sure that knowledge is crafted and actually packaged in the best way possible learning materials i talked about but you also have tutorials when we talk about tutorials we're talking about these groups that meet a, on a particular program and we give it six hours per module per semester the standard for undergraduate programs is four modules per semester so if for each module you're spending six hours of tutorial time as a group learning a particular program now in those six hours we divide them into three different uh, two hour lots the first two hour meeting is when you are meeting with your tutors your tutor who is actually um, exposing you to open a distance learning, advising you on how to approach it, advising you on the best ways to learn, and from there, uh, encouraging you to work together in your groups, is to form your, your tutorial groups, and exchange notes and compare notes. But remember, I talk of my vista. Through your portal, my vista, you also communicate, and you have your different forum as students, to communicate and compare notes, and you even email your tutors through my vista and discuss with your tutors on issues so the first two hours is kind of an orientation then you go away and you learn on your own as the distance learner in your own time your own pace and your own space to mid midway through the semester you meet for another two hours now that second two hour session is where you're saying to the tutor i've learned this in that but i still have questions x y and z and the tutor says what are your possible answers you come up with your possible answers you discuss them in the class and with the guidance of the tutor the whole class sees the way forward with respect to the different areas where you need assistance in your learning finally the third uh, uh, lot of two hours you meet towards the exam time when you're finishing your, your, your semester and for each particular module when you come to that time you're saying what have we learned throughout the semester and where are we in terms of exams what are the likely ways in which exams, exam questions are presented and the tutor is supposed to aid you in identifying that as well as moving on to say how best can I approach an exam question and you work at that together with your tutor and with your classmates and as a tutorial group you wind up coming up with the best way to handle your issues so the first two hours is kind of an orientation then you go away and you learn on your own as the distance learner in your own time your own pace and your own space to mid midway through the semester you meet for another two hours now that second two hour session is where you're saying to the tutor i have learned this and that but i still have questions x y and z and the tutor says what are your possible answers you come up with your possible answers you discuss them in the class and with the guidance of the tutor the whole class sees the way forward with respect to the different areas where you need assistance in your learning Finally, the third uh, to, uh, lot of two hours, you meet towards the exam time when you're finishing your, your, your semester. And for each particular module, when you come to that time, we're saying, what have we learned throughout the semester? 
And where are we in terms of exams? What are the likely ways in which exams, exam questions are presented? And the tools are supposed to aid you in identifying that, as well as moving on to say, how best can I approach an exam question? And you work at that together with your tutor and with your classmates. And as a tutorial group, you wind up coming up with the best way to handle your issues. Remember, in a tutorial, you're also being taught some of the courtesies and the etiquette of writing and even issues as critical to scholarship is no plagiarism. Plagiarism, we're talking about taking information from a given source and not acknowledging that this is not my own knowledge. So, if you plagiarize, get information from a given source and you don't acknowledge that you got it from that source, in academia, you will actually be penalized. And it actually could even be a very, very big litigation against you for doing that. What is the solution? The solution is read, yes, no, yes, but just acknowledge the source of information. One main thing that I must warn you about, or I'm going to warn you against this awareness of the open existence learning system, is plagiarism of one another's assignments. That is very common and it is deadly for open and distance learning because once we see that you're doing that as an institution, we have our ways of doing it. And you don't need that. You must just have the pride of developing your own work, even if you discuss it as a team, but sit down and you write your own way, in your own language, in your own voice. And this way, you'll be able to get the rewards for what you did. Now, let me just step back and say, what is this zone that you've made your university of choice? Yes, allow me at this moment to brag about the different awards that your university has received, national and international. As you can see, the international quality crown here was awarded to your university in London by the Business Initiative Development in Paris. And this was for the unwavering commitment to quality that we do as an institution. The Africa Education Leadership Award here, as you can see, was given in Mauritius. And this was awarded directly to your Vice Chancellor for an outstanding contribution in education. The Appreciation Award, presented by the Open University of Tanzania, so for outstanding contribution to the development of the Open University of Tanzania. We certainly, as an open and distance learning university, are very much in the forefront in the region to assist, and even in the continent, to assist other countries develop open and distance learning universities. And the Open University of Tanzania certainly sent their appreciation. They sent an appreciation to Zimbabwe Open University and to Zimbabwe as a nation for having a university that held their hand as they developed the an open and distance learning university. Nationally, the Zimbabwe Open University was also recognized by the Zimbabwe National Chamber of Commerce for, uh, for being an innovative and creative uh, institution when it came to challenging the economic environment. So in 2012, we actually won the Best Human Resource Development Award from the ZNCC. And this year, in 2013, your Vice Chancellor won this award right here, where she was the first runner-up for the Manager of the Year of 2012 uh, in the public service sector. Your university that you have come to, my dear learners, is a university that believes in quality production. They do not just look at you as a statistic, we look at you as a very important part, stakeholder in our institution. Your university has also gone on to develop, to offering higher degrees. We are we're now offering MPhils and DPhils, and of course in the various programs, we have master's programs. We have your master's in business administration, that has been going on for years. We have our master's in counseling, our master's in psychology, but we have a lot of different master's programs. But those different master's programs, we decided to make them culminate into doctor of philosophy programs, or DPhil programs, and we have a specific directorate that takes care of that, because we want the focus to be on the DPhil learner. As an open and distance learner, you need a lot more attention, you need a lot more assistance. So we created a whole director to take care of you. As you really, if you probably were watching, last year we actually had eight DFU uh, graduates working and getting kept. And five of those were actually so staff. We had some getting their MPhils. Of course, the other masters, we had a lot of them getting uh, kept. The year before that, we had our first three DFU graduates 
So we are growing and developing as a university in that area. And yes, you might say, but I'm your learner. I'm really not doing a DPhil. I'm not doing uh, a, a bachelor's pro program. But is there nothing else I can do? Yes, as a university, we also have our Center for Professional Development. The Center for Professional Development was set up to make sure that those learners or those people that still want to learn or get certified for some body of knowledge that they have can get that certification done through the Zimbabwe Open University, wherever they are in their localities, and we come through to you and provide the learning and refine the learning that you, the knowledge that you have, into a certificateable learning that you uh, uh, program that you that you can do. <laughs> I'm talking about learning everything, even if it's Mahani collection or beehive keeping, or you can learn and get certified for whatever you're doing. We are not only confined to degree programs, the point I'm making. The Bible Open University teaches even the non-degree programs. We offer diplomas, we offer certificates, we offer short courses, all these different things we offer you as your university. Yes, and we are even moving, particularly through the Center for Professional Development, further and further to your doorstep. We want to set up district centers for our degrees and non-degree programs. And we're also coming even as far down to as to the world. And wherever you are, we'll come there and teach you what to do and develop yourself and certify your knowledge because you have it. And we are the University of the Time, we're the University of the People, and we're coming there to teach you that. Yes, we might say, but with open and distance learning, there's a there are very high dropout rate. Uh uh, not with Zimbabwe Open University. More so when we compare ourselves with the other open and distance universities. We are actually a university that maintains high levels of students and we want to keep maintain that and maintain it forever. Internationally and regionally we are well established. We belong to the African Council for Distance Education. In fact before that we are in the International Council for Distance Education. We also belong to the African Council for Distance Education where your Vice Chancellor is a member of that board representing SADC. Then we also belong to the Distance Education Association of Southern Africa. Again, where your vice chancellor is the chair of that subject body. And therefore, when it comes to open and distance learning, the university that you have chosen is recognized internationally, nationally, and in the region as well. Quality assurance is critical if we are to have an institution that is going to warrant or to, be, to, to, to deserve this recognition that we have. Your Zimbabwe Open University that you are joining today was the first Zimbabwe or Zimbabwean University to actually set up a quality assurance directorate back in 2007. And right now, the Zimbabwe Council for Higher Education has decided to make it mandatory for all universities to have that kind of a directorate. And we are giving a lot of guidance to all the other universities, conventional and unconventional, on how to set up a quality directorate. We quality assure everything. Of the learning materials that you give, the exam writing, the exam processing, the teaching, the tutoring, etc. All that is quality assured. Much as you all may also think of it as an auditing process of what we do in the institution. So, in fact, as your university, we'll soon be getting our IS 199001 certification and we'll let you know and you'll celebrate that. Let me just conclude by just giving you a few hints on how to succeed as an open and distance learner. And in this case, particularly as a Zimbabwe Open University student, first, you have to have self-discipline. Self-discipline is not to be compromised. You must have self-discipline, give yourself time to work, and thoroughly work thoroughly through your modules. Secondly, you must meet all your deadlines. The tutorials that you get, and the tutorial letters that you get, and the assignments that you get with those tutorial letters for your modules, have time deadlines. Make sure you meet those. They are there for a purpose because if we give you an assignment and you don't have a time deadline, everybody can just write and present as and when they want. You have to have a time deadline after which your assignment is marked, after which the assignment is the marked assignment is returned to you, and that information should help you in learning and understanding where you went wrong so that for the next assignment you are prepared to do better. So you want to meet your deadlines. Yes, read all the materials that you receive be it tutorial materials, be it extra readers, be it extra reading work, and definitely be friends with your librarian. Go to that library and use it. 
in all our libraries now and it worked on the internet so you can access the materials and in fact in no time with the developments that we're coming up with we will soon be able to get you information that you can access as long as you have a smartphone you can do your work you can do your work while you're on the field you can do your work even while you're in your kettle you can do your assignment and send it through to your, to your, to your tutor and that facility is certainly going to be there completely it's partly there now but you are going to be able to get it completely through your my vista the fourth hit is make yourself the center of your study get all you need in order to learn okay you need paper you need pens you need references you need a congenial a space of study and the learning environment for yourself make yourself the center and make sure those four years three years whatever number of years you are investing into this program become worthwhile by making yourself the center and of course you make the best use of the internet in the library as i've already, already said in the night list and work with your family to give you time to learn once your family is in it and you're working at it together you'll find that learning as an open and distance learner will be very very easy and at every graduation ceremony i specifically take time to acknowledge families for the time that they've allowed their, their spouses or fathers or parents or children to invest in open and distance learning and find ways to limit times for pleasure i'm sure as learners and also as adult learners we have a lot of things that we are involved in the day from work from church from social clubs from family etc there are times that you have to say this i can do and this i can no longer do because i'm now an open and distance learner allocate yourself time to read and to work on your assignments separate from other activities and of course prepare for your examinations well before the exam time it will not help to jump onto it two days before you need to know your learning method your learning method see the one beauty of learning while we are working which is of course another major advantage of open distance learning is that if you are studying something that is related to your work as you learn you go to work and practice it and then you get the practical side happening and also as i always say to all the employers for those that sponsor their people and those that have not yet gotten onto that bandwagon you are actually getting instant value addition because your learner learns debit credit today and when they get to work the following morning they actually apply debit credit in your accounts department so as an open and distance learner you have the major advantage that whatever you learn you can go and apply it immediately and that reinforces the learning that you're doing and of course after your work is marked read your comments with the intention to learn not with the intention to find out if this tutor knows what they're doing or not. you are actually supposed to read and use those comments to develop let me conclude and say that once more i say to all of you welcome to this bubble open university welcome to this bubble open university family that you have joined and you will never regret the decision that you've made to make this your university of choice i wish you all the best and i know you will succeed i thank you